welcome to this Enlight tutorial. In this Enlight tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a um, picture with a 3D Max effect. It's a cool effect. You can apply to your pictures or any pictures that you like. So um, we're just going to do it to this picture here. What I would suggest is that you do this with a black and white image. That's when you get the best results. If you haven't got a black and white image, simply select the image that you want. Open up your sidebar, go to filters, select black and white and then select one of the um, the pre-installed filters along the bottom click the little tick button in the right hand side and um, there you go you've got a black and white image so let's get on and um, and carry on from our black and white um, image start off if you like I'm gonna go to image adjust I'm then gonna go to tools in the center I'm gonna go to color and then tint and then with this slider here, I'm just gonna drag it over to the right hand side so it purple tints, this purpley pink tint on our image. I'm gonna click the little um, tick button to say yes I agree, this little save out button at the top and I'm gonna save that photo and it'll save it at the start of our camera roll like so. So still with this purple image, pink purple image selected, I'm just gonna click the back button so it goes back to its original state. So if you made quite a few steps, keep clicking back. So it goes back to its, say, original state. It's black and white state. So that's the state that we want it at. So then we're going to go to our sidebar, image, adjust, tools, color again. And this time we're going to go to temperature. And instead of dragging it over to the right, we're going to drag it down to the left like so, so we've got this blue image also. Then I'm gonna click OK, and we're gonna save this photo out. So now we've got these two images, this blue and this purple image um, on our screen. I'm gonna select the purple one. The reason I did that and didn't just use it as it was is in case you want this original image to go back to its um, its original um, original composition, shall we say. So we've got the, um, we've got the blue, image right here so I'm gonna close the image I'm gonna to go tools mixer and then select the purple one on top like so I'm gonna stretch it out and it will snap into place see it snaps on the screen so I'm just pinching with my, my finger my forefinger and my thumb and I'm snapping this image into place and then all I'm going to do is slightly move it off to the left or to the right it doesn't matter if you move it if you look at the top of the screen and the center of the screen if you have it directly center you have this crosshair in the center of the screen on the outsides um, and that just helps you line it up so all I'm going to do is go down slightly and to to the left no just to the left slightly I'm then going to go tools blending and then all I'm going to do with this this top layer is I'm going to select lighten so right away you see you get this really nice effect and then you can sort of um, select tools again and move the top image to get it to a place that you're happy. So if I move it completely off you'll see the two images and get it to a place that you're happy with maybe just above and to the left it's quite a nice effect or just to the right is also quite a nice effect. But I'm just going to keep mine just slightly to the left and just off the center of the original image to give me that um, really sort of punchy 3D effect. I'm then gonna click the tick button to say that I'm happy with everything I've done so far. So this is just a little thing that I do at the back end. I like to do I like to go to filters, um, go analog, go to tools, and then go basic and select saturation. Now with saturation all I'm going to do is drag my finger up to the right hand side up to about thir between 30 and 40 around that type of um, that type of area. I'm then going to go to my brightness and I'm going to go um, minus on my brightness around between 20 and 30 yeah like so and then um, I'm going to go to my mask tools and then go to um, back to tools again and go to film and on the film 
I'm just going to go intensity. It's already selected for me on the left hand side right here. I'm going to drag that up to around between 70 and 80. So um, I'm going to drag that intensity around. Um, I've got it on 74, just between 70 and 80. Um, I'm going to select mask again and then tools again just to get me back to the front end menu of that tools. I'm then going to select vignette and then I'm going to make the outer side darker um, to um, yeah to to sort of about 50 between 50 and 60 but then the spread I'm going to ramp up the spread a little bit more to around 80 just so it darkens the outside so with the intensity I've made the outside quite dark like so um, I've ramped it up a little bit more to 71 but then with the spread I've increased that darkness and dragged that up between um, sort of 80 and 90 wherever it is um, so I'm going to click the little plus button there I'm going to close my filters and what I could do I could go to my finalize select a border now you're going to want a border that sort of um, matches what you've got so I would suggest this end one right here and just pinching and squeezing and just moving that end one out a little bit selecting tools color and then just change the um, change the color of that border to, um, to something that you're happy with so yeah it looks quite good the red and I suppose you could go to the opacity and turn the opacity of the border down a little bit and then um, yeah I'm happy with that so I would then save that image out so I've got that image saved out um, 3d max you can put some um, some writing on the bottom, whatever it is. You could you know add a few more um, details to that. But it's a really um, cool tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back soon with more videos. And thanks a lot for watching. Catch you soon.